Hi, this is Chris Coble. We're going to talk about uh, the first release of Insight Visualization in Q1 of 2019. I'm going to search for some tags like uh, we typically can do in Insight. And there's a brand new chart type now called a graphic. Once I click on that gra graphic, it will give me the ability to enter a brand new editor we call the Graphic Composer. The Graphic Composer tries to give the user a representation of what their graphic might look like on a appropriately sized dashboard. It allows you to create a or choose a background image uh, for the uh, graphic. Once I've selected a background image, I can customize this by placing cards over top of the image I've selected. I can also have some picks to change the shade of the particular card, and I can also configure a transparency as well to make it a little more attractive. Now that I've uh, chosen a background, I can drag tags directly onto the canvas and you'll see the live values start animating immediately. I can change the representation of how that uh, analog data point is uh, represented on the screen here. So I've, figured a, I've picked a circular chart. I can change the colors very quickly of that chart. I can pick a text color, which is a little more appropriate for the background. And I can also change the information to high so the tag value shows in the graphic. Now that I've selected those picks, I can drag additional analog tags onto the canvas and you'll see it remembered uh, the selections from the initial graphic, allowing me to quickly place uh, new and updated graphics. As you see, the live values are coming in all the time and the data is changing. I can pick some different representations of these. There's a uh, horizontal bar chart, which has all the same information. There's also you know, a 90 degree version uh, of this graphic, which I can pick in size. And we also have a, uh, a trend control, which shows the live values and the trend over a period of time. And we can also pick a different uh, time limit that the uh, trend shows. Now I can go ahead and save this particular uh, new chart type, give it a name, like I can give all uh, charts along with a keyword where it can uh, show up on a uh, dashboard. And I'll save that off. Now I've created uh, my first graphic. As an example now, I'll show how this graphic can be used uh, on an overview dashboard. There's my graphic I just created. I can go and stretch that to an, a size which makes more sense. And I can add some existing content next to it like a customer might do to show additional information about the status of those pumps. Now that I've placed my four status graphics down, I can save this dashboard to use for my team. Now that we've seen how to create a graphic, Let's look at some other examples, some more advanced examples that I'd like to show with different levels of context. Uh, I'm going to show a SCADA dashboard, a supervisor dashboard, and an executive dashboard, which has different levels of granularity and information. For the SCADA dashboard, we can see that uh, this is a screen taken directly from a uh, water wastewater uh, HMI uh, for the background, and we've laid graphics uh, over top of these backgrounds to make it look like a, an actual HMI screen except the data is coming from Insight in this example. And we've mixed that with a flow metrics uh, existing Insight chart. For the supervisor dashboard, we're looking one level higher at the entire plant. As you can see, we're using a plant overview graphic and we've laid down uh, some circular gauges with the live values and we've also used some discrete representations of on and off states along with some uh, trends that are showing on the right with the live value coming in. For the executive level dashboard, it's a little more of a KPI type uh, attractive looking dashboard with different uh, flow metrics for the water wastewater site. And I also took a background of a map and uh, laid visualizations over top of it for the status of uh, pumping stations. And those are just some of the examples you can do with the new uh, graphic.